Shalom, 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 shalom. I want to give all glory, all honor, and all praises unto the Most High Heavenly Father, whose name is Yahweh, for this very moment. And I want to give a barakata and a thawada to those who are being diligent inside this truth and they're being sincere about it, keeping the commandments to the best of their ability when it comes down to the Most High Heavenly Fathers, as well as carrying on the faith of the Hamashiach Yahweh Shai, who is the Malak. And as I always make it known, it's all about the kingdom, baby, so all glory and all honor and all praises be unto the Most High Heavenly Father. So, to get everything um, started, you know, I know this uh, this post is a, a few days old, but it's still going to connect with the video that I'm, you know, going to share with you. You know, um, matter of fact, knew it was coming. Has been deployed. And this is sort of cool. Scientists at the Pentagon are developing a microchip that can detect viruses in the blood, including COVID-19. The chip would be inserted just under the skin and alert the user if the coronavirus is present. In I the knew system. it. The military has not said. I knew it was coming. Has been deployed. They say Amazon now offering vaccinated workers cars and 500,000 in cash. Now, when you really, really look at that, right? You gotta understand, these damn devils do not wanna have, they do not wanna do anything in any shape or form, you know, um, to try to help God's chosen people out. You know, they don't wanna help Yahweh's chosen people. They don't They don't care about us. They never did. That's why we always been at the bottom, you see? But they gonna, they gonna get Jake's eyes, right? And draw Jake in, right? Through this uh, Amazon now offering vaccinated workers cars and 500,000 in cash right they want to they want to they want to pull Jake in with that and don't even realize at the end of the day you know it's only a trick but notice this it said Amazon now offering vaccinated workers you see they, they want the vaccinated the, the workers that are already there that are vaccinated they're giving them cars and 500,000 in cash as this article is claiming you see but the overall picture is that you can't trust these damn devils you see like I said they don't give a damn about us let me let, matter of fact let me bring a witness out on them Right? This is the book of uh, Sirach, which is the book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 12, and I'm going to go at verse 10. It says, Never trust thy enemy, for like as iron rusteth, so is his wickedness. You see? Letting you know plain and clear, like, yo, you don't want to get yourself to cleave unto these damn heathens. You see? These people who are willingly having themselves to operate within wickedness, they literally have it within themselves to be up against you. They may smile in your face, they may make it for themselves like they cool with you in every aspect. That's just to butter you up. Because honestly, they really looking to overthrow you like how they did with our people, you know, centuries ago. And still is during this day. You know? But let me go right back into it. In the book of Sirach, chapter 12, and verse 10. Never trust thy enemy. For like as iron rusteth, so is his wickedness. I'm going to jump down to verse 16, right? In the same chapter. It says, an enemy speaks sweetly with his lips. See? But in his heart he, imagine, he imagineth how to throw thee into a pit. He will weep with his eyes. But if he find opportunity... He will not be satisfied with blood. You see? Them damn devils ain't gonna be satisfied just with blood. You see? They speak sweetly with their lips. Right? They smile and all that stuff. But in reality, they some damn devils. And he said, but in his heart. Saying you gotta look behind that smile. In the, in the heart of these damn devils. These damn deceivers. They imagine how they gonna throw you into a pit. You see? Now, in the inside part, it can be in a way as far as like, you never know. You got some workers that probably be like, yo, I ain't taking that, right? So, the people who are in charge, they look in, in a way as like, okay, we can't just get rid of these people who are not having it within themselves to take the uh, the jab, right? So they're like, you know what? We're going to find a way of replacing them. So let's put this out there. We're going to make it known. You come with us, this is what you're going to get. This is what you're going to have. We look good, you're going to look good. Look, it sounds sweet. But in his heart, he imagine how to throw thee down into a pit. So he's going to get rid of those who are your people, you know, throw throw them out, out of the, uh, the plantation. You know, we had them to lose the plantation because they don't want to comply to to uh, to the agenda that's set up. And then right afterwards, you know, they make it to, for those, you know, Jake to fill in place with them. And then right after filling in place with them, you know, them going to be like, you know what? I'm getting it. You know, $500,000 and car shoot. Oh, I right, look. Oh, I right, look. I'll be living lovely. I'll be living good. You see? And don't even realize if these damn devils going to give you that much, something got to be wrong. Something got to be wrong. I remember a while back, maybe even a month or so, right? They had it as far as like them giving a the jab, right? To those who love going to the strip clubs. And you had Jake and all of them, you know, vouching for it, free lap dances and everything. And it was foolish. So they're doing all of what they can to appeal to the eyes of those who are amongst the masses. 
who majority of them is our people who are Israelites to have them to comply to their rules and regulations that are adding up to an agenda that's wicked as hell and it's totally against Yah Bashem Yah Shah Bashem Rekakadash it's totally against the Heavenly Father you see but you know what it's okay because all of this is all a part of what is going to fulfill prophecy so for the elect's sake the days are short as it is written you know the days are shortened for the elect's sake and let me uh let me bring that out you know that's in uh, the book of Matthew right um chapter 24 Yep, chapter 24 and verse chapter 24 and verse 24 he say um for there shall arise false Christ right it's gonna be some false individuals who, who are in place like you know because Christ just means uh the anointed one right so you're gonna have those who who are uh carrying on you know these images that that are appealing to the eyes of Jake right and false prophets meaning those who are gonna be uh speaking on uh, words like what I said in the book of Sirach chapter 12 and 16 an enemy speaking sweetly with his lips you see these damn devils you know, they're going to speak sweetly with their lips, right? And, and she'll show great signs and wonders. Look at this right here. Back, you know what I'm saying? Offering, you know, uh, these workers who, who got the jab, cars and $500,000 in cash. Now the check in cash, right? He said, and she'll show great signs and wonders. In so much that if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. See, overall, the scriptures already talks about how two thirds of uh, Israel is going to be, uh, is going to be destroyed. Right, they're gonna be done away with right along with these damn devils, these damn heathens, flat out like that because it, it, it's too much wickedness going on. You see, the scriptures even state, um, surely oppression makes a wise man mad. You see, that's that, that in itself is a fact. When you can wake up and you and you grow more into the truth, there is a lot of things that would be a vexation to your spirit. You see, it would be a vexation to your spirit. And though we know the heavenly Father is in control, according to Isaiah chapter forty-five and verse seven, we know He's in control of all of these things, the things that's good and evil, but. As we are enduring until the end, you know, to be saved, we got we to be here in the meantime. So in the meantime, what I feel and even what I'm sharing is, is, is all on a level as in like, wake up, wake up. I'm telling you this right now. Ain't no damn Islam going to save you. Ain't no damn Christianity going to save you. Ain't no damn Buddhism going to save you or any damn ism is going to save you. The only one that's going to save you is the Heavenly Father. You He has to be pleased. And in the midst of him being pleased, you doing what you are instructed to be doing when it comes down to the body of the Hamashiach Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. You see? Because he is Lord and he is the king. That's running, that's, that's, that, that's going to be bringing forth that, that, uh, that rod of iron out of the righteousness of the Heavenly Father. Okay? I can't wait till this, this damn kingdom be done away with. And that's a fact. There is no hope in the kingdom that's always been established to oppress um, the Most High's chosen people. And like I always share, you know, we did this to ourselves by being in disobedience to the Most High. Okay? But now we who are awakened or who are awoke, we now trying to help together the lost sheep, the elect in these times. Okay? So in so much that if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. Saying if it was possible, they would deceive the very elect. If it was possible. Saying the elect ain't gonna be going through that. The elect, like, oh hell no. The elect knows to return back to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah Bashem Rekakadash. I mean, to return back to the Heavenly Father, you know, through His only begotten Son, within the Spirit. Or return it back to the Heavenly Father through His Word, within the Spirit. The Holy Spirit. Because you got all types of spirits out here too. But it, a lot of them not of the Holy Spirit. Okay? So, um, yeah, so, you know, just going with that. And I want y'all to see that too. And, he's, and, and you know, going back into Sirach. Chapter 12 and 16, an enemy speaks sweetly with his lips, but in his heart, he imagined how to throw thee down into a pit. He will weep with his eyes, but if he find an opportunity, he will not be satisfied with blood. He will be satisfied with blood. So, you know, these damn devils, they're going to do all of what they can to keep you inside of a bondage. But the elect, this is why I say, if it were possible, you know, for the elect to be deceived, if it was possible, you see, because the elect, you know, they already know, according to the spirit. Like in 2 Corinthians chapter 2, it started verse 11. He say, lest Satan should get an advantage of us, but we are not ignorant of his devices. You see, we're not ignorant of these damn devil's devices. Like this right here, this is this right here is a device. And it's all leading into that place where it's gonna be uh, of them accepting that damn uh that damn beast. The beast um uh, mark. You know what I'm saying? A beastly mark. I'm gonna just put it like that. That that's where it's adding up to. That's where it's all going to. You see? Because Jake, if he if he got his cars, he got his money, he living luxurious, he got the job, he got all of that. When they ready to present that to him. He ain't, he ain't gonna deny it because he gonna he gonna look back at himself and all the way it's been given to him like look I got too much you know I got too much to lose and I ain't trying to lose it that's what Jake gonna say 
that's where Jake gonna be standing at. Meaning, that's where majority of our people, who are God's chosen people, are gonna be having themselves to be standing at. You see? But we ain't ignorant of his devices, Satan's devices, because we know where he's trying to lead to. Which y'all bring that out in the book of Revelations, right? The book of Revelations, uh, chapter 13, and starting at verse um, 15, it say, And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. You see? Verse 16, And he caused all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. You see? Verse 17, And that no man might buy or sell, comma, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name you see that's plain and clear you see that's plain and clear here is wisdom let him that have understanding count the number of the beast for it is the number of a man and his number is six hundred three score and six you see so when man begins to get themselves in place of operating with the nature of the beast they're going to make it for themselves to cleave unto this wicked ass, um, so like on my language, but you know what I mean? They're going to cleave to this wicked, uh, you know, this, 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 this wicked matrix, you know? And like I said, Salaki has, you know, it, forgive me, you know, on my language, but I just got to, I don't mean to come out like that, but it's like, it burns me up when I see our people, you know, being, it's like, they're not seeing what's actually being established at this moment. Out of all the information that's being given, out of all of what they may have within themselves and what they want to follow, when it comes down to spirituality, you got many of our people dealing with things, kundalini energy and all of this other th um, stuff, all of this other folliness. But when it comes down to keeping the commandments of the Most High Heavenly Fathers, as well as the faith of the Hamashiach Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, they look at that like it's like a fairy tale. When the prophecies are being fulfilled right before their very eyes. You know, I'm gonna give one more witness uh, before I play the video again, all right? In the book of, um, you know, because many got to understand that these damn devils, they always try to look for a way of overthrowing us, but they cannot overthrow us when we have it within ourselves to return back to the Most High Heavenly Father. When we have it within ourselves to return back to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah. You see? I'm going to, uh, hold on. I'm going to go into the book of 2nd Ezra, chapter 15, and verse 24. It says, Woe to them that sin and keep not my commandments, saith the Lord. You see? Plain and clear right there. Whoa. And that woe is of destruction. You see? That's something you shouldn't take lightly. And sin is when you transgression against the most high's commandments. That's what sin is. And it's when you transgress, we well, say transgression to his laws. But we know his laws are commandments. You see? Matter of fact, let me bring that out. In 1 John chapter 3 and verse 4, he said, Whosoever committeth sin transgresseth also the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. So when we look at that law, we got to understand. He's talking about uh, the Torah. The Torah. We'll say the Ten Commandments, which is understandable, but those Ten Commandments, it helps you to operate with compassion when it comes down to balancing out the other commandments. Because in the total, it's 613 commandments. You see? The only thing within those commandments that we don't carry on, as you can see, obviously, because we're in captivity, is when it comes down to the slaughtering uh, the bullocks and sheeps and all that stuff for an atonement for our sins. You see? But I know personally, according to Hebrews chapter 10, that the Hamashiach Yahweh Shai himself, he is the ultimate sacrifice for our, uh, for our sins, for Israel's sins. You see? So, you know, let us not, you know, take that for granted, you know? And let me go to uh, 1 John chapter 5, right? In verse 3, it says, For this is the love of God, that we keep his commandments, and his commandments are not grievous. So now you see, right? Even from John chapter 14 and 15, when he said, If ye love me, keep my commandments. Now you understand in 2 Andrew chapter 15 and verse 24, Woe to them that sin, meaning those that's going up against me, and keep not my commandments, save the Lord. Because now you're in place as a sinner, right? And, and by being in a place as a sinner, you now get yourself in place to be destroyed. Because in the book of Sarek, right, Ecclesiastes chapter 12 and verse 6, it says, For the Most High hate of sinners and will repay vengeance unto the ungodly and keep it them against the mighty day of their punishment. You see? Saying he's just reserving you. So you can make it to yourself like, oh, I'm good. And you're ignoring the fact that the Lord is nigh. Because in these times, you're supposed to be drawing closer to the Lord. According to Ecclesiastes chapter 5 and verse 7, it says, Make no tarrying to turn to the Lord. I Meaning don't, 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 don't make it to yourself to be like, uh, you know, uh, as it said, make no tarrying to turn to the Lord, to turn to Yah, Bashem Yahweh Shah. You know what I'm saying? Bashem Rekakadash. And put not all from day to day. 
for suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord, you know, the wrath of Yahweh come forth. And in thy security, meaning when you thinking you secure, thou shall be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. You see, the Lord's not playing. He just reserved them. Like, yeah, I'm letting them do what they do. And you got Jake following right behind them and don't even realize they, 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 they being reserved for damnation right along with the damn heathens, the damn devils. You see? But, you know, that's just the way it is. It's already prophesied that two thirds of Israel is going to be destroyed. And, you know, there is nothing that, you know, we can really, really do about that. You know, but to do what we, we can do, you know, by gathering the lost sheep, gathering, you know, doing what we got to do to uh, to gather um, those who are the hopeful, you know, elect, you know. So I'm going to close out right there. And like I said, I'm going to show the video at the end again, again, just to uh, give you a, a mind blower. Well, it's not so much of a mind blower, but we know that these things were uh, set in motion and it was going to happen. So, you know, it is what it is. Um, oh, Sirach chapter six, right? Sirach chapter six and verse 13. Separate thyself from thy enemies and take heed of thy friends. And we know that a friend is somebody who's a friend in the Lord. A friend in who? Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Bashem, Rekakadash. They carry on the fear of the Lord and they keep his commandments. They godly individuals that fear the Lord. They fear the heavenly father, right? Through his word and in in, in keeping themselves constantly in the spirit. These are the friends and they're going to do the will of the Most High out of his righteousness. So, Shalom on, family. Shalom on. You it was coming. Has been deployed. And this is sort of cool. Scientists at the Pentagon are developing a microchip that can detect viruses in the blood, including COVID-19. The chip would be inserted just under the skin and alert the user if the coronavirus is present in I the knew system. it. The military has not said. I knew it was coming. Has been deployed.